Good afternoon. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be here on behalf of the Fellows in Training on the Go session, here with essentially the greatest legend in cardiovascular disease medicine, Dr. Eugene Brunwald. Dr. Brunwald, thank you so much for agreeing to speak with us just for a few minutes today. I wanted to ask you what you think the greatest um, fields are in terms of advancement in cardiovascular disease medicine today. Well, I think there's been a lot of uh, progress in uh, cardiovascular medicine, but the two areas that I think were the greatest opportunities for moving forward are in um, uh, uh, prevention, the use of genomics, uh, that uh, prevention uh, is not uh, something that you do one size doesn't fit all, and we have better ways of characterizing uh, individuals now. So primary prevention um, in a much more advanced and sophisticated way uh, I think has tremendous possibilities. At the other end of the uh, spectrum, uh, patients with advanced disease, with advanced heart failure, I think also represent a, an important opportunity. And here I see the uh, development of left ventricular assist devices in a major way. What excites me most about uh, that opportunity is uh, the fact that there are some isolated instances of recovery. Right. Now, I don't think that uh, uh, the vast majority of patients with uh, severely uh, uh, a class four heart failure have much chance of recovery, although they can, their lives can certainly be sustained. But I think that if you look at patients, um, uh, if you want to rest the heart at an earlier stage, uh, for example, in class three heart failure, I think uh, 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 it is very likely that it might be possible to uh, have six weeks uh, of a uh, small device that sustains the circulation and then uh, that then can be explanted. So um, I think that uh, most uh, advances in uh, cardiovascular medicine have started with uh, the sickest patients. And uh, if they have found to be feasible, the sicker patient, you move down to the next group. And the next group in heart failure uh, is a huge group, that is the class three heart failure. And if something can be done to cause, uh, to produce recovery, as opposed to simply sustaining life, that would be very important. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I know your time is extremely limited, so I want to ask on behalf of the fellows, you serve as such a great source of inspiration to not only medical students, trainees, but junior faculty and senior faculty alike. What serves as your source of inspiration to continue to learn, to continue to investigate, and to continue to teach others? Well, uh, that's a tall order, um, and um, but it gets at um, it gets at uh, my identity, and I identify um, as a physician. I identify as a doctor, and I know that um, uh, we have to do better for patients. I think if we look at the uh, um, history, it's uh, clear that there has been enormous improvement. And in order to do that, you have to work very hard at it. And uh, I think that uh, um, it is the embodiment of uh, the medical profession. I, uh, I don't look at it as a scientist. I think science should be used for the betterment of patients.